afternoon, everyone. Can I share the screen? Yes, we see you well. Thank you. Again, it's a pleasure to be here in Lucknick now in a hybrid format to tell you about the 10th edition of the IPv6 challenge. The 10th edition. Time has gone by so fast. Let me present the results of this edition. So, as in the previous editions of the challenge, there was a, a it was uh, informed uh, in uh, the website of LACNIC inviting those in the region to uh, submit uh, papers on a deployment. Initially, they were recent uh, deployment works, but uh, with uh, small uh, changes, for instance, that some people that had uh, IPv6 uh, already implemented, they allowed them to present uh, progress uh, or um, and during the challenge, then uh, they had to present the two reports that they were requested. So as I said, uh, people participated, several entities participated, not just ISPs, but other types of companies, government agencies, and even students. Um, uh, and uh, there are frequent uh, questions and answers for the challenge. Have you ever participated in a previous uh, IPv6 challenge? May I participate? If I have already participated, can I participate again? Yes, you can. Of course, you have to show progress uh, um, of, with respect what you had uh, presented before. Who can participate? Well, the organizations of the region. In this 10th region, there was somebody from outside the region. If you're not members of LACNIC, you can also participate. The idea is that you may become members to, so as to participate in the challenge. If you don't have IPv6, can you participate? Yes, indeed you can. As I said earlier, some, um, you're invited to give your first, you can start with IPv6 and show progress. You are not going to be compared with others that have a broader deployment of IPv6, but uh, 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 you need to show a, a progress in your implementation. The, the knowledge, if your knowledge is not so advanced, you can also participate. You may participate, there's no problem. And the proposal, will the proposal be made public? Will my information on my proposal be made public? No, it's absolutely confidential. And then you are asked if you can write, um, 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 you can uh, write something for the media, for the press. Um, of my part of IPv6, can I participate? Yes, you have to show uh, progress. Um, if you have 100% of your um, of IPv6 implemented, can I participate? Yes, but you have to show advances in, uh, during the challenge. In this challenge, the idea is not to present successful cases, but rather progress as part of a challenge so that you can implement more services, more users, etc. And now, how does the winner get elected? Well, with the number of services and uh, service, uh, the, the quality of reports by the evaluating committee, the number of people that benefited with uh, the implementation of IPv6 and other variables that um, uh, may be perceived. This is uh, the, the panel. We are five in the evaluating committee. And uh, uh, with time, we uh, we, we the, uh, these people come from the Latin American Forum of IPv6, and then we looked. For, we wanted uh, a woman to be there. So initially we had Mariela, and now we have Carmen Denis. So I want to thank Alejandro Costa, Jorge Villa, Nicolas Antonello, um, uh, to be having been part of this challenge. It's of the committee. And we had very good uh, discussions. So, 
As I said, this is the 10th edition of the challenge. It's been five years since we've had this version of participation and the committee has a mailing list, uh, meetings, discussions in this second edition of 2021. There were 24 uh, registered from eight countries, one outside the region. And of ISPs, companies, in, not necessarily in the area of telecommunications, universities, and also government agencies. There was a month to enroll, as in the previous sessions, uh, or then uh, they waited two months, um, and uh, you were asked to send two progress reports and then verification uh, uh, tests were done and feedback was given to the participants. So the results of this edition of uh, the IPv6 challenge, the 10th, I think that as in other editions, some had uh, IPv6 already working, connectivity, uh, others that were starting uh, the new implementations with IPv6 and Three participants sent a report of progress and then another participant sent a report in the period in the, of the second report. He sent just one. So as part of the results that I can mention, after a uh, a uh, thorough discussion and looking at the report uh, after a review of reports and given the current situation of the pandemic, yet last year we made some adjustments because in in the mid of the challenge last year we, we well we had the pandemic so some participants said that they were finding it hard to continue to show progress. But in spite of that, there were winners, there were people who presented good reports. And in that period, we also saw uh, in, the, in this year's challenge, we saw maybe some of you had that feeling. We uh, started to come back to hybrid uh, sessions, but we have the feeling that it's been enough and that uh, um, we've been virtually for a long time. And um, so for this session of the uh, challenge, there were two uh, works uh, performed and based on what was presented the report, this decision was made by the committee. These are the papers selected. Selection one is the company Vectra Consultoria e Servicios consultancy uh, consultancy and uh, services in the second also from brazil the company is called c telecom those are the two papers that showed more progress in their report and this is the result of the challenge so this is what i had to tell you i don't know whether you have any questions any comments so there on the screen you have the uh, committee you have some questions and we will be paying attention to the next edition of the challenge so we'll we'll uh, tell you uh, so that you may dare participate this is all from my side thank you Thank you, Asael, for this announcement. Congratulations to all. I don't know whether we have any questions in the Q&A panel for Asael for the IPv6 uh, challenge. Hello, Andrea. We don't have any questions for Asael yet. Thank you, Kevin. So, as I, as Asael pointed out, he will tell us at the next challenge of IPv6. Asael, thank you for your presentation. 